In 2002, a young Falun Gong practitioner wrote, I am a fifth grade student in elementary school. My younger sister is a fourth grade student. The school principal asked my sister and me, Will you still practice Falun Gong? Both of us answered, We will practice Falun Gong. Then the principal expelled us from school and would not allow us to return. He also reported us to the 610 office. What is Falun Gong? Falun Gong is a traditional Chinese spiritual discipline for the mind and body that includes both exercises and meditation. Its guiding principles are truth, compassion, and forbearance. People who practice regularly find that it brings better health, reduced stress, and inner peace. The practice was first introduced to the public in China in 1992 and spread quickly by word of mouth. By 1999, over 100 million people were practicing Falun Gong, compared to only 60 million Communist Party members. Out of his irrational jealousy, the dictator, Jiang Zemin, branded Falun Gong as the country's number one enemy and in conjunction with the Chinese Communist Party launched a brutal campaign of genocide to eradicate Falun Gong. A massive hate campaign of misinformation, intimidation and brutality began spreading across China in July of 1999. In the following years, hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners were imprisoned in forced labor camps, brainwashing centers, prisons, and psychiatric hospitals. As of June 27, 2005, nearly 2,623 deaths, most from torture, have been verified, but the actual number is believed to be much higher. Unfortunately, in this persecution, children have not been spared. My name is Zhong Zhong. When I was 10 months old, my mom and I became homeless to avoid persecution. When I was a year and a half, my dad was arrested and sentenced to five years in prison. Half a year later, mom was arrested and sentenced to nine years. From then on, I never saw my mom again. Now I live with my grandma. After three years of torture, my dad was sent home dying. Grandma and I watched dad pass away right before our eyes. We cried so much, it felt like our hearts were broken into pieces. On November 23, 2001, Liu Xiaotian was in school when he was told that his parents were arrested by the police because they practiced Falun Gong. Then the police came to look for him. With a neighbor's help, Xiao Tian managed to escape to his uncle's place in Fujian province, but the police traced him there. In June of 2003, with financial help from his uncle, Xiao Tian managed to escape to Denmark. At this time, because of shock and fear, he couldn't form a complete sentence. It took him a whole year to fully express in words what had happened to him. Sadly, the first news from his uncle in China was that both of his parents had been tortured to death within five months of their arrest. We can only imagine how many children are suffering from the loss of their parents and who are enduring hardships because their parents were imprisoned or sent to labor camps. But what's even more shocking is that young children are being directly targeted for persecution by Jiang's followers simply because their parents practice Falun Gong. Wang Shuji, four years old, died of shock and fear after seeing her father being brutally abused in police custody. Wu Lingxia died in July 2002 after a year of torture and abuse in detention centers. Her teenage son is now alone. Over the past five years, countless children have suffered from prejudice, 
intimidation, illegal detention, beatings, and homelessness. Some have even been tortured to death. The harm done to these children is impossible to calculate. The suffering of children that we have documented is just a drop in the ocean compared to what has taken place over the past six years of persecution. How many children have been deprived of a happy childhood and family life? How many family tragedies has this persecution created? At this time, it is hard to accurately determine. But for the future of the children, the future of justice, and the future of mankind, the world's people must join forces to put an end to this inhuman persecution. Oh